Hello, my name is Stephen Quick, your friendly neighbourhood artist, and I am here to introduce you to the Battle of Lamore painting creation video documentary thing. As with most of my project, this started with an email from a lady named April, who I believe looks a bit like this. She had seen my Love War series, which is a series of planes bombing hearts, and she wanted a painting for her very own. In the email, April mentioned how big she wanted the painting, and it was huge. I love painting stuff on a massive scale. I thought this would be fine, I can get it with a courier that can drive it around the country, or needs to be hire a van and take it there myself. I thought this would be amazing. But then, I realised that April lives in Australia, and I live in the United Kingdom. That literally is one side of the world to the other. Now, the size she wanted, we couldn't ship unless we rented a boat, which may have been expensive. Once looking into the biggest I could ship, we realised it was nowhere near as big as she wanted. There is a way to make one massive painting and ship it to Australia, and that is to split the painting across multiple canvases. Easy, kind of easy, but that was a new option. So I sat down and did some doodles. The first idea was to spread the painting across two canvases. Two huge canvases with the Love War planes flying across the two, bombing the hearts. Now this worked great because it was across two very big canvases and it would look really wicked, but we were lacking a bit of depth. So I thought, well, let's try four. So I designed a secondary idea, which was four canvases. One, two, three, four. Four 30 by 40 canvases, which would make it 60 by 80. This way I could spread it across a, a square area, which is easier to put multiple images on. I sent these April to see what she thought. She loved it! <laughs> we decided, she decided, that my secondary thoughts on the four canvases was going to work better. By having it across four canvases, we were going to have more depth, more length, and I could fit a lot more in. So I started designing it and decided to put one main focal plane in, on each canvas with maybe some secondary ones in the backgrounds. The hearts bombing across the canvases, going from one to the, the other to connect them. So if there was a heart leaving from the canvas in the top corner, the heart would end in the bottom corner, which is on another canvas. That would interconnect all these canvases. You'd have every single canvas interacting with the other. Now I'm filming this bit after I've completed the project. And it wasn't until I started painting the paintings that I realised I should have filmed this. I should have filmed the beginning. So this beginning process of seeing this painting is done in photographs. Luckily I was taking photographs to document the process. Now the first step was the difficult one. How was I going to draw these pictures onto each canvas? I couldn't physically connect them all together and paint them all at the same time. That would have been insane. Um, and I don't think it would actually fit in my studio. And I wanted to treat each one as their own painting. I wanted them to be able to work on their own. They didn't need the rest to work. They were great on their own, but as a whole, they were better. So somehow I had to get the basic drawing. I didn't want to get the full drawing. I just wanted to get the positions, the connection points onto these four canvases. So there was only one way to do this, and this was to batten them all up. And as you can see, this was a huge project, just connecting all these canvases and making them strong enough that I could get them up on a wall and I could roughly draw them out. That was fine, got it there in the end, sketched it all out and managed to get each one in a rough area so I knew roughly where a plane was, roughly where a heart was, roughly where that heart was connecting to another canvas, to another heart, to another plane. Once I managed to get them all sketched out, I could actually step back and realise how big this was. And seeing these drawings on each canvas, I could see how this was going to look and how this was going to work and it's going to look wicked. So you're going to have these four canvases which were on their own one beautiful painting, hopefully. Um, and then connected, they just became like different parts of the same story. I was going to do these a bit differently to how I normally paint. Because these are very graphic, white, black, red, there's no shading, there's no other tones by the block colours. I sketched the plane out first to get it, you know, to get it nice and detailed. Uh, and then I put the black on, and then after the black, because these are mainly white and large, pretty large, the white was going to be very important to get this white white. You know, sometimes white can look a bit grey. Sometimes if you put two or three layers of white and beside it a, a bit of white you only put two layers, this looks a different colour because it reflects light differently. So it's very important to get a flat white and a consistent white. So after I put the black on, I'm going over the paintings with a, a couple of coats of white to get them nice and spread out because I can still see the black. Then I go back in, I put another layer of black on, and then I put the hearts in. So now you're going to see the speeded up footage of me creating each 
of the four paintings that create the one painting. Uh, so I hope you enjoy seeing this painting coming together that was entitled The Battle of L'Amour. Uh, thank you April for commissioning this and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I now put down this script which hasn't helped me. Cheers! Now you can see that's drawn, now we're onto painting the first one, this is the top left. He's all drawn out and ready. Let's paint! Exciting. <laughs> So I've just done another piece of the painting which is painting lots of white on it which would have been very 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 boring to um, view so I thought I'd just show you why I did this. Um, as you can see now everything's a bit misty and um, opaque. I wanted to give it like a slight level and why I didn't undercoat it I guess on in acrylic white was that I wanted to have the, the pop I guess. Uh, the pop which you'll see there you go you see around the edges of the hearts just to make the hearts come out and look um, a touch 3d so you can see I've painted white everywhere and gone over the black in lots of places and then I will now go back and re-render all the black and get it nice and sharp and then that's that one done on to top right maybe I don't know which one I'm gonna do next so um stay tuned
Radio off. Hold on. Uh, that is top left finished. Woohoo! Um, I've just painted the last bit of the back, so I'll just show you what's going on. There we go. Um, so that's had the first black layer, then the white, and then another black layer. It's roughly done. Stupid smudge there, I've got to sort out. Um, and the black will pop in a little air bubble will pop up, so I'll have to go back over for that. So that took three days all in all to paint it, and with the beginning doing a few more fine detail drawings. Um, because of all the straight lines, it's quite slow, and also because you're doing black and white, so any little smudge, like I showed you earlier, shows up. So you have to be very steady, and you have to have a very steady hand. Um, because it's a plane on white, straight lines, black on white, there's no room for error. And here at the bottom you can just see the other plane, that's the top of his wing and that's the top of his tail. So that's where the other plane will go under the bottom there. And then the hearts will be going down to this canvas down here. Excellent. Oh, by the way, this is called the Battle of L'Amour. I've decided to call it Battle of Love. Um, it's the Love War series, but because we've got so many planes added, um, another title and it sounds kind of pretentious but I kind of like it so that's a fourth the way through let's go That's number two down. That's bottom left. Uh, I need to go to the one above it and just make sure everything lines up. Um, it's only going to be a couple of lines of black. And then we've got to put the next one on. I think I'm going to do that one up there next. Um, and then we'll have three done. Uh, I like this one. I kind of like the, the contrast. It's a much more, uh, much more uh, bolder plane, lots more shadow. Uh, cool. Um, I'll check if they line up and we'll see what's happening. Bye.
Uh, just a quick update to show you the two that are done. If I can get the angle in here, I don't expect I can. So these are the bottom two done. There's one, I can't get anywhere near the angle. Well, that was a waste of time. High five! Update how we're going. Um, number three, I'm on now, as you've seen. Uh, I've just stopped to have a break. Uh, halfway through, this one's quite different if you look. Uh, the bomber, a lot more lines than the last one, a lot more complex, a lot more um, straight arrow, straight arrow, straight lines going down there to get the shape. Um, so it's looking good. I, I'm having trouble trying to decide what I'm going to do on the side, uh, the size of the camera. So here, if you look, so this heart obviously joins us on the next camera so I don't know whether or not to whether or not to carry this heart around to the side. Um, I have um, oops, I have done a tester there so I'll test it when I'm, I am lay them out to see if they line up. So going well I'm going to finish off the tail of this plane then we'll give it a, a wash of white which um, I probably won't show because it'll be dull. <laughs> Um, and then um, I'll go back into it and add more detail which you should see so uh, that's number three halfway done keep forgetting to turn the music off when I'm doing these speaking things and then I've got music in the background which is not copyright free and then YouTube will pull it off and I'll cry 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 because of all the editing. Here we go, I just give another quick update, I'm speaking really fast because it's early morning and I'm delirious, here we go. This is number three, top uh, right. All the white has been done so I've made it, you know you can barely see the plane now to be honest. Um, and um, I shall now go back in and do the detail. Which is what you're about to see now, Battle of Lamour. We are over halfway, and this is very much like a, like um, Lord of the Rings. There will be many, many endings. I liked it though. Aye.
random thought, should I um, sign all of them in the bottom right or just the bottom right one in the bottom right? Because actually they're only one painting. Probably just the one in the bottom right and the bottom right. Bye. Hello. Right. Three down, one to go. But I have to stop for a second and check everything's lining up for all the different um, quarters. So, um, Dak down the sitting room because that's the only place in my house where I can fit all these buggers. Um, so let's see if it lines up. So here they are, we've got them all laid out. Oh, I've got them all laid out, I don't know who the Wii is. Three of them. We've got the, uh, the three. And now I am gonna do two things to check. We're gonna see if they line up. So that needs to line up with that. And that heart needs to line up with that bottom of the heart there. And then on this one, <laughs> I'm confused. Um, that's that side. So that heart down there, a little bit there, needs to line up with that one and that one. <laughs> it will make more sense. So I'm going to lay them out and we're going to see if they line up. Oh, the other thing I'm going to test, I don't know whether or not to paint the sides in this wrap effect so the heart continues going around or leave it white so it's cut off. So I'm going to test to see what that does to see if by wrapping it round, it throws off the illusion because you might be able to see the white. I think it will, but I'm just gonna test it. Um, if not, we'll keep it all white. Um, I thought about doing black, but I think that will um, disconnect the pictures too much. So, let's get them laid down and see what happens. So, we've got... <clears throat> this is the top. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. So this is the top right. I was saying about the wraparound. This will actually be a, this will actually be an edge. So there's nothing connecting to this. So wrapping around there may be an option. So I might white it. We'll, we'll decide a bit. Anyway, let's get these laid out. <laughs> There we go, you can get a real good idea of how they're gonna work there. Um, so now I've just got to see if they line up perfectly. So I'm just gonna check if things line up. That doesn't quite, so I'm just gonna put a line in there. That does, need to sharpen that edge. That lines up fine. That lines up fine. <laughs> You can see, so as you can see, this heart doesn't quite line up. So I'm just drawing that in to make that line up. Same here, only a tiny bit just to go in there. And then we've got the wing over here. Which lines up fine. So now the question is wrap around or not wrap around. So that is in line. So as you can see with a gap in the middle, whether it be, you know, whatever size it will be, this white may throw your eye off. Originally I thought no wrap around, but now I'm thinking a wrap around. So if we find one where I've done it here. See the difference? I don't know if you can. There you go, you can see the difference. That looks like a fluid shape, whereas that's got this little white bit, especially if you come at an angle. So wrap around is going to happen. I'm going to wrap these around, which I really wasn't planning on doing. 
to wrap it around I will just continue the line straight down so it'll go at a right angle from where it is um, don't need to draw it other than that that lines up way better than I ever could have imagined <laughs> so let's get a fast shot yeah they're looking really good very happy now we've got to do the last one and obviously this will be the one that's because we're going to have a heart lining up there 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 then a plane lining up there so this will be the uh, hard one so on to number four thank you for watching this battle of Lamore. it's coming on well i'm enjoying it a lot Ooh. about these which I'm finding quite interesting is the um, actual painting of them is quite fast um, because it's just block colors what's taking the um, massive amount of time is the touching up because um, it's block colors reds and whites and blacks they obviously any imperfections like a little uh, bubble burst which leaves a bit of the color underneath showing um, shows up like a sore thumb or if, if I paint the white background in a slightly different thicker one area than another. It shows up like a sore thumb again, um, so I'll repeat myself. <laughs> so uh, what um, is is the challenge at the moment is the consistency. It's keeping the paint consistent, keeping it um, at the same thickness wherever it's been painted. Um, and that will hopefully in turn make it all look like one. So I think when they're all finished, I will be... Um, Putting them all together, I think I'll give them all another white of what uh, another wash of white uh, on the background because then hopefully they'll all have roughly the same um, thickness and um, they'll all reflect the light, reflect the light the same. So um, let's keep going. it the final leg we are nearly there we me 
I'm just doing final touch-ups and uh, doing the wraparound effect. So I thought I'd update you. So here we go. These two are fully, fully done. That one there is completely and utterly touched up and finished. This one, the same. Um, and I'll take you downstairs now so you can see the other two. Uh, so here we are. Turn the light on so you can see what's going on. Here we go, we've got these two ready to touch up. As you can see, this one's roughly perfect. I just need to uh, touch up that red. As you can see, it's very uh, bitty. Um, and then wrap that heart round, wrap these bits of black around and that little bit there. Um, I don't think, if I look at this, there's anything left to touch up on this one. That will be it. This one, there's quite a bit more to do on this one. Um, we got the hearts completely to paint on the wraparound and that one and that one and that one and also there's, I don't think you'll be able to capture it on the camera. Let me see if I can capture it. There you go. Can you see there? See how that bit there is? See, it's only when the light catches it. So that little bit there is just a slight different thickness of white to the rest of it. So I just put another coat over that. Very annoying. So that's it. Uh, I've got to do that. And then one final, put them all on the ground to see if they line up. And if they all line up, we are finished. Yay! I just realized I've got this around my neck. I look like a cowboy. All four are fully touched up. Around the sides done. I think that one there may need a tiny bit more red on, but that's hardly anything. 15 second job. This one's all done. As you can see, I've touched up all of it. Sort of done that white problem now. If you come here at the angle where the light's coming off a bit, see, there's no um, like mispainted bit there. This one's all done. Painted around the sides, down there, and that one as well. So that will line up with that hopefully that wing goes to that wing and then that curve attaches to that curve that little bit attaches to that little bit so hopefully they will all line up and it'll be fantastic and you can see there oh hmm, I might just while I'm here just do that little bit a touch more I've just noticed a little irregularity there quite good because I can get the sun to um, reflect off it and I can just about see where the whites are slightly different. Um, I mean this is unbelievable how simple this looks painting white but um, let's look together <coughs> but the um, the importance of getting this is is you know very very important to get this white the same everywhere um, will give it that minimalist look I guess and a minimalist look sometimes is definitely a lot more work so painting this white here has taken me probably three or four days more than painting the background on this lady here this girl here this you know this abstract stuff because here you've got so much um, space for mistakes you know I can make mistakes wherever here and let it drip down or the same with this one here you can see how how messy it is and semi-abstract that's really quick to do this getting it a perfect white is a pain in the bloody balls but we are there so that is it for the minute I'll let them dry see if they line up and then it's all over hmm. bye
the final layout to see if they all fit and if they all line up and then it's done. So, let's get them laid out. <laughs> So, there they are. Now I'm just seeing if everything lines up. You know what? It's near as damn it. No, it's not. There's a problem. I've done something weird with that wing there, see? Doesn't quite line up, well at all, I think that should have been just a line. I'm going to go get the original reference photograph, see what the crap I did there. Right, I have my original photograph to see what has happened here. And all it is, I can see, and if I get you closer. <coughs> See how that doesn't line up at all? And all it is, it's got to be hard, I can't move it, is this here. That should follow into there. So that bit there needs to be whited. And that bit there, that needs to come down here as well. See, so it goes like that. So this just, I just need to put some white on this, that won't take 10 seconds. Um, that could probably do with just being lined up a bit better, like just to do that. That's fine. The hearts, what is that? A bit of onion. <laughs> the hearts all line up a treat. Look at that, perfect. Um, this one is perfect once I push it in the right place. Perfect, perfect. That one's a bit high, so it's a bit out of the moment. That plane is lined up absolutely spot on. Look at that. That one's perfect. That's all fine. So it's just that little bit there and signing it. So what I'm going to do, sign it in pencil and then go over and paint. So, I won't film lining it up again because that's done. Whew. So that is done, roughly. I'm gonna touch that little bit of <laughs> I'm wheezy. Hay fever, not unfitness. Well, a bit of unfitness. Just sort that line out and that's done. And then I will take photographs of it all and show you what it looks like.